Craig Brathwaite, the West Indies captain, scored his 11th test century as he propelled his team to 192 for three at the end of day four of the first test against Australia. Hello everyone and welcome to the Cricket Forum. A pleasant morning to you all. I really hope that you are having a great morning and that you will continue to have a great weekend. Please slash a like on the video, share and subscribe. My morning was very happy. The performances of the West Indies in this match, I am very happy about. Just now though, I was watching the gladiators playing in the second semifinals or the qualifiers for the finals. And they are 23 for three with Puran and Russell out. That dampened my spirit. So I switched the screen. I don't want to watch it with my team at 23 for three. Hopefully, hopefully by the end of this broadcast and I get back to it, they will be in a better position. But as far as the West Indies performance is concerned in this first test match, I am very happy about it. Despite Australia making 598 for four declare in their first innings, it took them 152.4 overs to do so. Therefore, it means that the bowling stood up to the, chart, to the task admirable. And if you look at it, it was in that fifth session that Australia really got away. But for the first day and the first session and the second day, the bowlers did stood up to their tasks and bowled very well. So although Australia made 598, it wasn't a quick innings. It was 152.4 overs before they achieve it. Secondly, when West Indies batted, and although, again, we lost our last nine wickets in that first innings in 44 overs, in the end, we still batted 98.2 overs. So we batted almost 100 overs in our first innings. I'm happy with that. Would I have wanted to see a score a little faster, like 3.2, 3.5 runs per over in that first innings? Would, would I have wanted us to make 350, 370? Of course, we all do. But when you look at the context of things, not many persons were expecting West Indies to bat 98 over against Australia in that first innings at Perth. So I am happy with that. That 98 overs that we batted in that first innings, that is why this match is going into the fifth day. Because if West Indies had batted like 60, 65 overs in that first innings, Australia would have enforced the follow-on and probably the match would have been over already. So although we never, we never got a big total, the fact that we batted almost 100 overs, Australia could not enforce the follow-on because their bowlers were tired. And that is even more evident that in this second innings, Pat Cummins have not bowled as yet because he's short. After bowling those 20 overs in the first innings, 20.2 overs in the first innings, Pat Cummins have not recovered sufficiently yet to take any further part in the match as yet. Towards the end of the day's play last night, or yes, today, he came on. He came on the field, but he was still unable to bowl because of the time he was off the field. So that 98.2 overs that West Indies batted in, in the first innings, don't watch the score. It put work in the legs of the Australian bowlers. And once you have them out in the field, in that hot perd sun, you are getting something out of them. So I'm very happy. Even yesterday, last night, Australia did not get away. We bowled fairly well. They did not get away. And when they declare that lunch, when they declare that lunch, giving us five sessions to chase 498, we batted brilliantly. And once again, Chanda Paul and the captain Bratway, oh, marvelous Bratway. Chanda Paul and the captain Bratway put on 114 runs for the first wicket before Chanda Paul went. And I want to tell you something about Chanda Paul. Chanda Paul got a ball outside the Ashton from Stark and got an inside edge and was out bold. 
that delivery will not out Chanda Paul again when he got a start. Be honest. Chanda Paul is playing his first test match. He has never played such hard, intense cricket against such quality opposition from the day he was born. This is the first time for him. I think the shot was tired. I think he played that shot because he was tired. Not that the shot was not on, but he was not committed to it as if he was not tired. With experience, that delivery will not get him out another time. I just think it boils down to tiredness. It boils down to the intensity of four hard day of cricket against a quality opposition. I think that's what got Chanda Paul out. If at the start of the test match, someone had told us that Chanda Paul was going to score 96, is it 96 or 98? If someone had told us that Chanda Paul was going to score 96 runs in that test match, we would have taken it. So well done, young man. I think the shot look a little tired, but I understand you have never played four hard day of cricket as you have done and you have done brilliantly and i know you will not get out like that again especially when you get a start i really saw that it was down to tiredness at 192 for three so west indies 192 for three 192 for three chasing chasing 498 need another 306 runs to win Bratwaite and a marvelous 100 and one not out. Interestingly, Bratwaite 101 came off 166 deliveries. That is a strike rate of about 60. Bratwaite is not known to score so fast. But you recall last night in last night's show, when I was on last night, you would recall that I said that I expected the West Indies to bat better in the second innings. So far, they have not let me down. They are batting better because, because of all the occupied decrease in the first innings, they would have learned. They would have learned from batting in the first innings. And that more test matches like these will only improve the West Indies. More test matches against good opposition. And that's why a number of persons are calling for more four-day cricket in the region. Because this test match, this second innings, the way the guys batted, you can see that they have improved over the first innings. I hope now they don't go and let me down in that, in this, in, in the remainder of this match. But I'm very happy with the performances of the guy. Um, Brooks, I think Brooks, um, it, it Brooks played a little low. Um, but you see the thing about it. Lions was getting the ball to go too straight with a little drift and he was turning some and the pitch was biting and turning and you and you were able to see the class of a real off spinner compared to our spinner Jace Chase so there was a difference between Lions and Chase Lions was getting the ball to spit out of the pitch he was getting it to turn he was getting it to bounce he was getting it to go straight I think for Brooks dismissal, he played a little too low. And Blackwood really got a good ball. Blackwood really got a good ball to an old cart at forward shot. Like Brooks old cart at first leg. So all in all, I think the team batted well. I think Lions is the threat tomorrow. Cummins came on the field in the evening. Probably he will be ready for tomorrow. He'll overcome the soreness. So he will be more rested than the rest of the Australian bowlers. I saw somebody posted on social media why Australia need to make over 400 runs to beat the West Indies team. They don't understand, you know. They don't understand cricket. The reason why Australia was batting so long is to give their bowler rest. The reason why the bowlers need rest, West Indies batted 100 overs in their first innings. That is test cricket. It's not only about the runs. It's about batting time and wearing down the opposition to your comments to your comments sammy st ellen let me put on my glasses here so that i can really 
got my wish we made it to the fifth days congratulations we did that's what we wanted we wanted to go to the fifth day and now we hope that we can take this match up our tea and hopefully we can hold on for a draw now the three batsmen that leave to come hold off a double century chase of century in test cricket the silver of century in test cricket joseph of a i of 81 and we know roach can block a few balls now the two batsmen are batting obviously bratwaite is at 101 can myers have a double century all beat against bangladesh now i want us if we get a draw we'll be very happy there's no way West Indies is going to chase down this 306. No way. Australia will never allow that. They will slow down the game and they will do everything. And this is a test match. This is not ODI. They will pack the boundary. They will bowl a lot of bounces and so on. So we are not going to get the 206. If we go past T and we lost, I'll be comfortable. But my hope is that we can get a draw. I really hope we can get a draw out of this match. That is our ambition. But I, I, I'd be disappointed if we don't draw the match, but I will not be upset if we pass T and loss. If, if, I, if, if I got my point. This is a very, very credible performance from the West Indies. I am fairly satisfi satisfied. If we reach T tomorrow, I'll be quite happy. Yes, I agree with you, Sammy St. Ellen. We just need to make them work hard. True. And if we bat until T tomorrow, which is probably be another 60 overs, we already face 66 overs in this match, or 60, some, 62 overs in this match. Unfortunately, Blackwood got out in the 60th over. So we face 62 overs. If we bat another 60 overs tomorrow, that will be 122 overs in the second innings. Take into consideration that the next test match start Thursday. This should be a lot of work for the Australian bowlers, and it will argue good for the West Indies team. Sammy St. Ellen, you are spot on. Well done. Big up, big up, Claude Murphy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Labo Chain, Labos Chain is the luckiest cricketer I have ever seen. They say that luck comes with hard work and luck comes with positivity. So maybe that's why. But Joseph really bowled a fast spell to him at the beginning of the day's play yesterday. Can we now say Craig Bradwaite is our best batsman in the region? His production have shown that. The last seven, the last 11 Test century made by a West Indian openers have all been made by Craig Brathwaite. Craig Brathwaite, I have no argument with anyone who is saying that Craig Brathwaite is the best batsman in the region. I don't have any argument with that. I think King have the potential to be our leading batsman, batsman in the region, but I can't have an argument with you, Sashin Singh, for saying that Craig Brathwaite is the best batsman in the region. I think you are on spot on in the breaking down. Chanda Paul shot that got him out. Thank you very much, Adrian Payne. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Big up to St. Ellen's. Big up to. So we need 306 on the last day to win the match. I don't think we are going to get it. Imagine if West Indies are, say, 400 for six at T. Still needing another 98 runs to win the last session. What do you think Australia will do? Australia will slow the game, go right down. Right, right, right down. And we do not see West Indies making 200 between the, the start of play and T. I just give that as a figure. I And in previous years, in previous test matches against Sri Lanka and Bangladesh and Pakistan, when we get a score to chase and we have 302 90 to make on the last day, we did not chase it. So I don't see us chasing this total again. This is what the captain have to say. We got to believe. It was good to get through this today. We had to fight. Australia are going to come hard tomorrow. So it's obviously important we start extremely well. That is what Captain Craig Bratwade had to say. We got to believe. And I pray and I hope and we should all send them positive vibes. That is why I'm say, I always said, we have our favorites. We have our favorites. We have people who we want to be in the team and in the squad. 
But when the final squad is named, when the final level is named, we need to send them positive energy. It doesn't mean that we cannot criticize. It doesn't mean we cannot point out failures. It doesn't mean we cannot give advice. But we need to give them positive energy. And so the captain is saying, we got to believe. We got to believe. People, we got to believe. It was good to get through this day. It was very good. I know many of us right now are happy that West Indies are 192 for three. It makes our morning feel better. It makes our day feel better. If the team was bowled out and the match ended last night, we would not be in this good spirit that we are this morning. We are happy. We had to fight. Australia are going to come hard as us. They are going to. We have no doubt. They are going to come. Cummins is well rested. Maybe he's not as sore as he was the day before. But his soreness, remember, his soreness was caused by he has to bowl 20.2 overs in the West Indies first innings. So credit to the West Indies batsmen for, for making Cummins becoming sore because of the workload he has to do. That's the only reason why he was sore, because of the workload. So give credit to the West Indies batsmen who batted 98.2 overs, although they lost the last nine wickets in 44 overs. What would have happened if we had just stretched that out to 120 overs in the first innings, even if we had only scored 50 more runs? Maybe Australia would have not... Maybe Australia would have declared late, late last night. Okay. Important. It is obviously important that we start well tomorrow. I hope that this pair at the wicket, Mayers and Bratway, can take it to lunch without further loss. Now, coming up tomorrow, and those of you who are living in Antigua, you should go down to the Sir Vivian Richard Stadium to watch the female team play against England. The match starts at 2 p.m. in Antigua, 1 p.m. in Jamaica. Entry fee is just $9, 9 US dollars. Please, if you're Antigua, go down to the Sir Vivian Richard Oval and support our female cricketers. They played against England. And these three matches, which will be tomorrow, the 6th, which is Tuesday, and the 9th, which is what, Friday. These three matches, the points from these matches goes towards the World Cup qualification in 2025. The match will be live on YouTube, of course. But if you are an, in Antigua, Antigua is a small country. If you are in Antigua, please go down to the, to the Sir Vivian Richard Stadium and support our women as they take on England in the first ODI match tomorrow. So that was good news coming out of, good news coming out of Australia. And please go down and support the, the, the West Indies women tomorrow. In the other test match that is going on, in the run fest that is going on at Rural Pindi, England, who you would have known, made 657. Pakistan are 499 for seven. And Barbara Azam's fan would be very happy that he made 136. The two openers also made 100. That is Shafiq and Ulak both made 100. But I know you are more happy you are more relieved that Barbara Azam also got 136. So that's the score in that match after day three. I think there can still be a result in this match. Because the match had gone so fast, because England is now leading by what? 158. Pakistan have three wickets in hand. If, if England can get those three wickets for another 50 runs and say led by a lead by 100, you know how England bats, so they will try to probably score 350 by the end of the fourth day's play and give and set a target of about 450 and Pakistan would need to battle the last day. So there could, there could still be a result in this match. There could still be a result. Just let me look at some of the comments so that we can share. Um, uh, so seeing Alzari bowl reminds me of West Indies of the 80s. Great first, first hour of bowling by our bowlers. True, he was really bowling fast. And we and one of the time I was just one one of the times I was just wondering, what if Shannon Gabriel was there to back him up from the other end? What if Gabriel was there? Wow, it would be pace. Mayors, 
Mayors have a shoulder injury. That's why he did not bowl in the second innings. He was it. Who hit him? I think it was Tark who hit him on the shoulder. So maybe, and as you, as you brought up that double O seven, maybe that's why Minley, Minley is going. Because Seals have a nigger in his knee. Mayors have a shoulder injury. And they are saying that this perch surface, people tend to get injured at the perch surface. Even in the World Cup, there were more injured there. And they are even saying that this could have contributed to Cummins' soreness. Talking about Minley, while we in this community knew from yesterday evening that Minley was on his way to Australia, and I think there were one or two persons in this community who were asking, how do we know that? How did I know that? But we announced it here first from yesterday evening that Minley was on his way to Australia. Now, about an hour or an hour and a half ago, West Indies put out an official tweet. Cricket West Indies put out an official tweet that Minley will arrive in Australia on Tuesday morning. Just about an hour or an hour and a half ago. So we knew that first here. While the rest of the world didn't know, we here were able to announce that Finley, Marquino Finley, was on his way to Australia. About a hour and a half ago, Cricket West Indies put out a tweet saying that Minley will arrive in Australia Tuesday morning. Um, Claude Murphy, I really like how Laura was giving credit to the West Indies team. Yes, Laura is defending us in that box against these Australians. Some of these Australians are objective, but some of them are really biased. But Lara is there and is balancing all things. Keep going, boys. A winner never quits. Why? Good positive, good positive comment, Keith Aaron. Positivity, we say. Positivity, we say. Roach may be injured as well. 007. Yes. Yes, because Roach leave the field last night. Yes. I remember. Yes, he leave the field last night. So Roach may be injured as well. So a number of our players may be carrying injuries. A number of our fast bowlers may be carrying injuries injuries so mayor's injury is preventing him from bowling not batting yes that's right claude murphy it's preventing him from bowling that's why he didn't bowl any at all in the in the west indies yes yes he is cw i confirm it rose has an injury with his knee or something to do yes okay very good yes we saw when he leave the field last night 007 thank you very much for sharing you are so on top of things you are so on top of things. We are so on top of things. Question. If Mayers can't bowl, will he pick get picked in the next match as a batsman? I think he will. I think he will bat at six in the next match if, if he cannot bowl. I, that is my opinion. What do you think in the chat? I think he will he will play as a batsman. They must call another batter, so we'll be glad to see if they call Atanese or Carty to be to be concussion substitute. Now, um, Devon Thomas is also there. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, but Atanez looked very good in the in the just concluded Super 50. He was the only batsman to score two centuries, and he looks he looks he looks very good in this. We are going for a win tonight. We cannot defend for an entire day. Sheldon Smith, um, how you doing, man? Welcome. Welcome to the show. Sheldon Smith, I would love us to go for a win. But on past occasion, when we have high 200 or low 300 to chase on the final day, even last year against Sri Lanka and against Pakistan, we batted out the day and did not go for the win. Um, I don't want to sound like a defeatist. I'm not sounding like a defeatist here. But I don't know if we can go, we can get the 306 in a day. I don't think so. I think we should play a normal game, but I don't think we are going to get the 306. Going off past record and knowing what the Australian will do if they see that we are approaching victory. Labos Shane is the luckiest batsman. Yes, we yes, we had said that earlier. Very impressive spell from, from Joseph. First hour will determine what our mindset will be. Yes, and as the captain said, he expected them to come very hard at us tomorrow. So the captain said, he said, Australia are going to come hard tomorrow. So it is obviously important we start extremely, 
extremely well. The next thing is happening next Cricket West Indies. This is happening in Jamaica next week. Cricket West Indies, in partnership with the Jamaica Cricket Association, will be delivering a week-long series of coach development events across the country next week. So, so Cricket West Indies will be in Jamaica next week conducting some training sessions for coaches. Presenters at those sessions, these sessions will be at the Trelawney Multipurpose Stadium in Trelawney and at Sabina Park in Kingston, Jamaica. Presenters will be Jimmy Adams, as you know, he's the director of cricket. Chris Brabazan is the cricket development officer for West Indies. He's responsible for cricket development in West Indies. And Philip Service and Gibbs Williams are also the cricket development officers for Jamaica. These are the Philip Service and Gibbs Williams are the two appointed cricket development officers in Jamaica by the West Indies. Crick Chris Bramazan is the overall cricket development officer for the West Indies. So they will be conducting some sessions, four sessions in Jamaica next week, two in Trelawney, two in Kingston. So if you are already a coach, because I said these free workshops, they are free, are open to all previously accredited coaches. It is not for persons who are not coached. So if you are a coach and you are living in Jamaica, they will cover spin bowling and batting against spin. So that's what they are saying that these seminars will cover. They are also saying that apart from those three guys, Nikita Miller, the former Jamaican who plays, I think, one day internationals for the West Indies and one test, and Andre Coley is presently the head coach of, at the academy at the Cricket West Indies Academy, these two persons will also be a part of the presenters. So there will be five present, six presenters, Adams, Babarazan, Babarazan um, Philip Service, Chris Williams, Nikita Miller, and Andre Coley. So if you are a coach, you're living in Jamaica, and you want to attend these sessions where they will do coaching for spin bowling and batting against spin bowling, they said that they'll be using some of the youngsters from the location. As they, as they saw it there, they said that some of the talented youngsters, young spin bowlers and batters from Trelawney and I guess surrounding areas and from, from Kingston will be there to participate in the training session. So this is a training session for coaches and they will have. So Cricket West Indies is putting on a seminar. Well done. We hope that it's a successful one. But Right now, the job at hand is for the test team to come good. Um, this comment, let's see what this comment said. Next week, as to that, as to that silver batting. Next week, as to that silver batting, too low for his form. Plus, he can absorb pressure and take up deliveries. So, Ian Boscombe is saying that the silver is batting too low. What number is he batting? Seven or eight? But who do you bat him at? Who do you bat him ahead of? Who do you bat him ahead of? Mares? Who do you bat him ahead of, of older? You see, I, I think Ian Bascom, I think, I personally believe that the silver can bat higher in the order. But who would you bat him ahead of? I think he can bat higher in the order. Maybe he's an option for number three. Because we seem to have been a challenge at number three. So maybe it's an option for number three. I certainly believe that he can bat higher in the batting order. But I have not wrapped my head yet around where he should bat if not at eight. So please, Ian Bascom, if you have an idea, explain it to us, please. Thanks. We really appreciate your comment. We can win, but I prefer if we take our time for the first two sessions and chip away at the total slowly. Good point there, double O seven. Very good point. We won't lose from here. We will make those runs. So consider wasting this team one up. That's the positive mindset that we need to have. That's a positive mindset. In reality, I want to be a more be more conservative. I want to be more conservative, although I'm sending them positive energy. But Mills Stanford, very positive, very positive. I love that. I love that positive mindset. I honestly think Phil should reconsider his decision. I'm impressed 
that the selectors pick the players that they are deserving of a place in the team. Claude Murphy, well said. I really think that, you see, Phil Simmons had said that he doesn't, he either is going to be a coach for the entire team or no coach at all. He doesn't want a piecemeal. That's what he had said. Okay. Three point fronts of should take us home. We have not scored that. We have not scored that in a long while in test cricket. We have not scored that in a long while in test cricket number seven. We should try to get a boundary every second over and make up the rest in ones and two. Good point, Sheldon. Good point. But you do you think after five days of test cricket, this West Indies team can manage that? This West Indies team can manage that? CWI should focus on fast bowling coaching though. That's how we dominate previously. Okay, so Shashin Singh, I'm saying that why the seminar is good that they are going to have, but we really should be focusing on fast bowling. Understand, they are keeping this fast, that this session, seminar in Jamaica, this four day of workshop in Jamaica for spin bowlers and batting against spin. Um, Dean, I hope you get, I hope I get your name right, but thank you for contributing, Dean, Dean Oshino. Thank you for contributing. We are open for at least a draw. A win would welcome. We are open for a draw. A loss will be disappointed, but not upset. So thank you for that comment. If the silver bats anywhere above five, he should not keep. That's another opinion there again. That's another opinion. So that's, that, that's the intricacy of the thing. It is not straightforward. So why one person believe that the silver should bat higher in the order. Double O seven saying yes, he can bat higher in the order, but he should not be the keeper. Intricate, intricate. So there's a lot that we have that we have to go through. Can't see us winning this. Too many runs. I think so too. But persons like Sheldon Smith in the chat is saying that we are going to get the three point five runs are over. But I agree with you. I agree with you. I can't see us winning this. I can't see us. Our past record of of scoring a lot of runs on the fifth day does not set a trend where we can go by to say it will be justified for us to expect a win. Um, this one said, well done, West Indies. We need Chase to bat before older. Give thanks for the long batting lineup. Okay, St. Elmore Oz. Well done. This is saying... I believe West Indies have a chance to draw this test match as long as the captain is at the crease. True, the captain will need Chase good where he had. So the debate rages, rages on. Um, <laughs> we are talking West Indies cricket this morning. Thank you for contributing, though. We love India, too. The next time we see India, we're going to beat them. Whether in India or in the West Indies, the next time we play India in a test match, we are going to beat them. Thank you for contributing, Das. Thank you, Surimai Das. Love for India. We have great love for the West Indies. The next time we see India, we're going to flog them. West Indies need more good test bowlers. True, true, that's true. What? True. Bonner Concuss and will not play in the rest of the series. Yes. Thank you for that update. Thank you for that update, 007. They need to approach the game for a win. And if we lose two more wickets before lunch, then we look for a draw so there are varying comments of how we should approach the last day's play and that is what this marvelous community is about different opinion different viewpoints different argument and as long as we continue to express our opinions in a decent and respectful way this is what we are all about so there are many different opinions of how we should approach the game tonight, the final day's play. My opinion, which is not law, and is not facts, and is not written in book, as would say, it is not written in the Bible, as would say, but this is just my opinion. Based on off what we did against Sri Lanka when we had to chase, based off what we did against Pakistan when we have to chase, and based off the fact that for our last five test matches, we had not scored at 3.5 runs or over, I do not think we can get the runs. And that is just my opinion. But Arlene Williams, I, I appreciate your opinions and I appreciate all the different viewpoints in the chat. I'm double century from Craig and half century for, yes, 
Yes, we hope that Craig make a double century. Very good point. Very good point. Craig must be thinking along that way to make a double century. Do you see Brandon? I think that Brandon King has the potential to be the best batsman in the region. Now, someone earlier said that Craig Brathwaite is the best batsman in the region, and we cannot argue against that. We should not argue against that his performance show that he's batting better than any other batsman in the region at Test Cricket. But I also think that Brandon King has the ability to be our test batsman in the region. Right now, though, we want to be positive and support the squad in Australia. They are the ones who are in Australia. We hope that King will play some four-day cricket again in the coming season. He played one four-day match last year, this year, earlier this year, before he was called to West Indies duty, and he made 119 for Jamaica against Barbados in that one match that he played. So he played red ball cricket. We have a top score of, I think, 194 in red ball cricket. And the last full season of red ball cricket, I think he scored 630 runs from seven matches. So King does play red ball cricket, and he loves red ball cricket, and he always talks about wanting to play test cricket. I believe he has the potential to be the best batsman in the region, but let's see what will happen. Hope that he'll play some, test, some red ball cricket this year. Why people call him from Athenes when he did not get, when he did good in Super 50, but saying Puran has to play four days in order for him to play test. Puran had the second most runs after King. Alvin Prasad, that, that's, that is always going to happen. That is always going to happen. People are always going to call for their favorite. And that's why I'm saying that we sh it's okay to express our opinion, but the squad, when selected, we should support it. I agree with you, Atanese need to perform in red ball cricket before he should be drafted in the test team. There's no doubt about that. He has to perform in red ball cricket. Good point, Alvin Prasad. Atanese need to perform in red ball cricket before he can be considered playing in the test team. So too is Puran. There's no off measures about it. He needs to. Puran need to play red ball cricket and perform. Atanese need to perform in red ball cricket. And remember, Atanese averages us 27. You know? Although he made it two centuries this year and made 296 runs in the Super 50, he made 114 one match and then made another 100. And in the other four matches, he tailed her off. So 250 out of his runs out of the 296 came in on the two matches. That was Atanese's performance. He was the only one to score two centuries, though, in the Super 50 this year. So we hope that he kicks on from there and continue to produce. But I agree with you. They all need to play red ball cricket and perform in red ball cricket. Imran Hussain. West Indies need to put pressure on Australia and the Australian team. Good point. Yes, we need to put pressure. If we go for a draw, Lions will have us for supper. That is true. Lions is going to be a real threat on the last day, Sheldon Smith. I agree with you 100%. Lions is going to be a real threat. And this is where I think our batsmen need to learn batsmen need to learn to sweep because we'll have to get out that sweep that sweep tomorrow. Brandon King has a weakness for a pace ball and his stats show that. If he can fix this, he will be an asset for us. Sachin Singh, I will not complain with your opinion. Please detail the, the, the weakness to us so that we can learn from it and go on. But the, as I will not, I am still not convinced that that delivery from Joseph that got labor chain was, was a no ball. It was. The technology showed that it was a no ball, Claude Murphy. We can't fight against the technology when it's not in our favor. It, it was a no ball. St. Elmore Alls, for a win, we need mayors to shine to go West Indies. For West Indies to go one up. We hope that he shine. Atanese played first class, Alvin. Puran didn't. Hence, I call for him or Kati or Imla. Okay, so that that's that that's that, that's the fans there having a healthy debate. That's good. That's good. Continue there. What's your thought about West Indies day, day four performance? Brilliant. Brilliant. As I said in the beginning, Das, and you're called you're from India, and welcome to the show. As I said in the beginning. It's not only day four performance, but West Indies have been performing well in this match. Australia 598, 
took them 152.4 overs. That's credit to the bowlers. We do did not deteriorate. The bowlers held their own, and it was only in the final session, in that fifth session, that Australia really scored at a quick tempo. When we batted, we batted almost 100 overs. When we bowled it last night, we show aggression. It has been four days of good cricket from the West Indies. We are the weaker side. Everybody knows that Australia is a favorite, but we have played well. We have played well. Can Jason Older play 30 to 40 overs for a draw? Well, we, we'll have to see. We hope, we hope that the batting doesn't reach Jason Older. We are hoping that Myers and... and Bratway bat out the day. Nicholas doing good in the Abu Dhabi T10, but I did not think he's a, his team going to the finals. Oh, Nicholas Poran, he came in and I think he made 14 or 5 ball before Rashid out him this morning. So he made 14 or 5 deliveries before he got out by Rashid. Chanda Paul is a gem. Mark my word. He overtake his father. Thank, thank me later. Okay, Chanda Paul... Well, every West Indian fan hope that Chanda Paul will have a better test average and score more test runs than, than his father. We are really open for that. Good to see Chanda Paul replay history like his father. A part of history that happened when Stark out, when Stark out Chanda Paul last night is that 10 years ago, Ch Stark also out Chibnar in Chanda Paul. So Stark have both of out both father and son in test cricket. So that was good from start. That's just a little bit of history. He must feel good about that, that he knocked over the father and now he is knocking over the son. We still have man in Ut who are capable of batting to make this runs. Yes, we have stated that so far that old have a double century. Mayers who is at the crease with Bradweight have a double century. The Silva have a hundred. Joseph of a top score of 81, Chase of test 100. Yes, so we, we, we have stated that, that earlier. Thank you for your comment, Arlene Williams. Thank you very much. If Bradway wicket fall in the first five overs, then what is the strategy? Good question. If Bradway should out in the first overs, I'll encourage you as a batsman to remain positive, believe in their techniques, trust their techniques, and be determined. Positive, determined, and trust your techniques. React to the, the delivery and don't premeditate. And let us take it up to T and see what happened after T. I have said, if we win, it would have it would be welcome. I a draw would be satisfactory. A defeat, I'd be disappointed, but I would not be upset. That's that's what uh, uh, that's what I have said. So if we should bat until T and we lost, we'd be disappointed, of course, but I would not be upset. I would think it would be a creditable performance because even before the test match, I've said that if we took if we take the match into the fifth day and we after lunch, I would be comfortable even if we lose. And we are in the fifth day. We have taken the match into the fifth day. No one expected that, not no one. Most persons don't expect this match to have lost for the fifth day. And the West Indies took it into the fifth day. So we must give them credit. Let, let one of the two go and sit. Who, which two? If Bradwet out, send out the silver or chase. Okay. So double seven, you think that if Bradweight is out, we should send the silver. Okay, fine. And 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 let them sit. I, I understand what you what you are saying. I guess now the Australian supporters will come out. They really underestimated West Indies. Yes, St. Ellen, we really fought. The West Indies team is really fighting. Sorry to ask the question, but many news portals cover that the popularity of cricket is dying in West Indies. Um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. England never get to day five, so I'm glad West Indies did. Yes, 007, England never get to, never get to day five. Um, I like the look of the opening partnership so far. Chanda Paul is aggressive and Bratwaite has powers of concentration. They complement each other so far. Early days, but looking good. That is true. Fabian Scatterberry, that, that is such a true comment. Shemari Das, please, this is a positive community. 
We welcome your views. We thank you for being a part of the community. We hope you continue to be a, a part of the community. But when you come, please push a positive narrative. Thank you very much, Das. Please push a positive na narrative. We hope more Indians will be become a part of this community because we understand the popularity of cricket in India. And the thing about it, sorry, Nadas, let me tell you something. And this, I hit me, I hit out at you, man, in a friendly way. India, if India don't win the ODI World Cup coming up in October, they are not going to win any World Cup for the next 15 years. You hear my friend? My friend Das, I'm telling you. So don't worry about the state of cricket in the West Indies. We will get there. But India, with all the money that they have, will not win another World Cup for 15 to 20 years if they don't win the ODI World Cup coming up in October. So you should remember that. Some of the Australian commentators thought West Indies have been bowled out yesterday. They were surprised to see West Indies batter them and they are not comfortable going into the 50. That is true, Claude Murphy, not only the commentators, but I also have that thought. When, when I saw Australia declare at lunch, that's the first thought that came to my mind. I hope West Indies don't all out today. You know? I hope. I was really hoping. So it's, it's not only them alone. But you remember yesterday evening I said in the show, I expected us to bat better in the second innings than in the first innings. And we are showing that. that despite that, though, I was, I was hoping that we did not all out. And I'm very, very happy that we take the match into the fifth day. Um, there's another comment here. Arlen Williams, people keep talking about a draw. Look at Chanda Paul. He's on debut and has performed way better than some of the guys were expected to perform. I'm looking for a win. If we lose, I'm satisfied we put in. As I said, Williams, different opinion. When we were chasing 300 against Sri Lanka last year, we did not go for it. Pakistan also, when we were chasing 295 on the last day, we did not go for it. So I guess people are looking at those two matches. And the fact that for the last five test matches, West Indies have not scored over three runs per over. So that's why persons are saying a draw instead of a win. If the West Indies come out tonight and decide to go for a win, I don't think anyone would have a problem with that. No one would have a problem with that, Williams. We would be happy if they win the match. That would be the number one thing. Realistically, though, and looking at past trend, we are saying that we are not sure that West Indies can get this 206. I do not see, in my opinion, I'm not a defeatist, Williams. I'm not being a defeatist here. But in my opinion, I, I, we are not going to get the 306. I'm not a defeatist here. Um, it's just that we have two different opinions on this one. And, and don't look at me. I appreciate your positivity. And I hope that the West Indies prove me wrong. But if I was to bet, I would not bet on a West Indies win. I'd be very happy if they win. And I'm very happy if they prove me wrong. But I do not see West Indies getting 306 on a fifth-day pitch against this Australian attack in a test match at Perth. The pitch is going to crack up tomorrow. Trust me, it's going to crack. The cracks are going to get bigger. I do not see it. But who am I to know? What do I know about cricket? Only cricket itself knows. But I expect, I don't expect West Indies to win. The best I'm hoping for is a draw. But I would love for them to prove me wrong. I'd be very happy if they prove me wrong. What is your thought on the Pakistan versus England test series? The match is going to end in a draw. The, the, the Royal Pin the pitch is a batting paradise. It's a I don't think pitch should be, be, be prepared in that way. 657 all out, and now 499 for seven. There could be a winner. As I said earlier in the broadcast, I did say there could be a winner, but I don't think so. It's such a batting paradise. It's Sashin Singh. Tej, just a minute. That is true. Tej and Craig can help West Indies climb up the ranking. It might be too soon, but we didn't have 
two good openers in a long time. That is so true. These two openers are doing very well. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. I hope that you'll have a wonderful day. I have a funeral to go to at 11 o'clock, and it's now 10.30. And then after a funeral, I have a wedding to go through at 3 o'clock. And both of them are about 100 kilometers apart. So that's about 66 miles apart. So I'm half to a wedding for a good friend. His brother has died. And then after that, I have a wedding to go through. And they are about 100 kilometers apart. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. I hope that you'll have a great day. May God bless you. And may West Indies win this match. Although I think it is unlikely. But the best result for us is for West Indies to win. If they lose, I'd be disappointed but not upset. If they draw, I'll be a very satisfied man. If they win, I will be over the moon. I'll be very elated. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Please slash a like on the video. Share and subscribe. Share the video with your friends and subscribe. I pray that God will bless you today and that you will all have a wonderful day. Take, take care now of yourself and take care of your loved ones. Respect, brother. Respect, Mr. Williams. God bless us all and may we have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow. And at that time, we hope that we'll be able to discuss a West Indies victory. Thank you all and have a great day now. God bless you.